I'll tell myself number one to um, uh, to trust your courage and trust your strength. Um, number two, I'll tell myself um, to rebel more. And number three, I'll tell myself to have a bit more fun. I'm Jeannie Wong. Um, I'm a consultant and I consult in new product and service innovation. The coolest thing about my job is the um, scientificness behind it. So what I really like about it is really that um, I'm dealing with um, topics where you don't really have a guaranteed result. Right? So what I get to do is I get to identify, okay, what are the problems that are there are relating to the field that I'm in? And then I get to formulate assumptions, which is great. And I get to translate that into a product or service. I get to work with people to bring it to life. And then I get to bring it to the market and see whether my assumptions were right or wrong. Okay. And it usually is definitely not just my assumption. I work with the team and we work together to figure that out. But that's the part for me that's the most exciting. It really um, brings together, um, on the one hand, the need to be organized, and on the other hand, um, creativity. And I love that. I love combining those two. So the limitation is probably not a surprise. It's really just um, work-life balance. Um, when you're working as a consultant, uh, especially for me, because I'm quite new doing this, the lines between your, you know, your private life and, and your work life is just completely blurred. Um, so that's the key thing that I'm still learning to figure out, still grappling with. But I think it's also something that we generally have, no matter whether you're a consultant or working in the industry. Everything's moving so fast. Everything is so complex. You have to stay on top of everything at, all the time. So um, I think we're all grappling to figure out you know, how to actually live fulfillingly in this new world that we're in. A consultant is basically someone who um, goes and is, supports and helps clients in, in, in solving any problems that they have or, you know, if they um, are looking for a new opportunity, if they have a specific problem they want to solve. And it really depends on the field and the industry you're in. You might go look for a specialist consultant or you might go look for a strategist consultant to come and help and support you in your problem. And um, what I do as a consultant in the area of new service and product innovation is actually really different. So my day my day to day is quite different depending on the type of job that I have or type of client that I have. So it could range from anything to from um, setting up creative workshops with my clients um, where they get together different people from different teams to come together and figure out okay what is our strategy for the next year and whatever it is we're doing to um, working for nearly six months to a year um, at a company um, you know, t filling up the role of a product and innovation, a product service innovation manager. So what that means is usually someone who acts as an internal CEO at the company. So it goes from strategy to concepting to design to working together with the team of engineers or other specialists to bring that product to life and then um, working with other specialists, usually marketers, to bring it to the market so you can start engaging your audience in the product that you're doing. I usually have one client um, um, when I do longer projects and multiple clients when I have shorter projects. And sometimes the project dies down where really my, the bulk of my work is at the beginning helping them set up, identify strategies, identify opportunities to find strategies, set up the team then my role kind of fades down a bit where I'm just acting as a, you know, a sparring partner, you know, for uh, um, the leadership team because it does get quite lonely at the top le level and someone for them to bounce ideas off of and um, figure out are there any things out there that they can use, new insights they can use to help them um, drive their, you know, solutions forward. I'm from Taipei, Taiwan. And um, I'm half German, half Chinese. Um, went to an American school, so I have an American education. I did my undergrad in the U.S. I studied actually uh, German literature and political science. And then I moved to Berlin um, right afterwards to do grad school. And here in, Ger in Berlin, I studied um, cultural anthropology and um, aesthetics and um, design. 
and I decided to um, go for a more practical uh, diploma afterwards um, in a degree at the University of Arts um, in digital communication, which was kind of like a, um, a new um, program that they had, which was um, a combination of um, computer science, design, and um, new business. And it was a collaboration between MIT in the US, uh, the University of Arts here in Berlin, and St. Gallen Business School. So it was really training us to be ready to be entrepreneurs in this new economy. And that was a really nice opportunity to really, for me, kind of move out of the more academic field that I was in into a more practical field. My key motivation um, really stems from my um, you know, studies in anthropology or cultural anthropology, where I was really interested in um, the way people interact and um, people come together to solve problems. And this is when I realized, because this was back in the early 2000s, how um, this new technology that was happening all around us, how it can actually be used to help promote and solve real problems that people actually have. And that's when I took this opportunity, left academia, and went straight into the tech industry. My background is so diverse. I really took a lot of um, different roads to get to where I am today. And um, I do believe that you can get to doing what I do um, no matter what you studied. I mean, it really does take some skills and some, some part of it is talent, but there's some skills that you actually acquire in the job. But there's no, um, there's no studies out there that teaches you how to um, start your own business. I mean, there are entrepreneurial classes, but there's really no studies out there. And there's no studies out there that teaches you how to really understand what are the problems that people have. Um, my anthropological background definitely helped me ask and inquire this, but it's just one small part of what I do. So yes, definitely you can take different roads to get to where I am. Um, there are certain skills you need to have, and you can either acquire that on your own. Uh, a lot of us learn on the job or um, also make use of the studies that you had.